Today we need to get into apparently Jungkook addressing the controversy that he gets into. We also need to get into an alleged AI videotape that people are talking about that is very inappropriate and Jungkook might have a reaction to this. And then of course we have a very famous naughty website that apparently posted the images of the members of Blackpink on their Instagram. So don't lazy Dave decide hate it or not make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. Now, I can't really say the exact name of this website, but you know the website that I'm talking about. This is the website that if you were to watch any adult content, this is like the first website that comes up. It's probably the most popular website that exists that people don't like to say that they use. What I didn't know about this website was that apparently they have social media accounts on other platforms. So platforms that don't allow for this 18 plus content, that website has an account on Instagram. And as per the guidelines of that platform, obviously they do not allow the post of adult content on there. So it almost seems counterintuitive for me at least for them to even have those accounts because how are they going to promote their best content from their website to be on Instagram or whatever accounts? They don't even allow for 18 plus videos. So going forward here, we're going to call this website The Hub. I don't know what The Hub posts on Instagram because their accounts seemingly aren't available to look at now on Instagram. It seems like it was taken down or something. But it seems like one of their promotional methods was just posting pictures and moments in which they were mentioned or seen online. So there was a particular moment where Rosé from Blackpink and Lisa were seen at a fair somewhere. This was a market in Thailand and if you know how markets go, they sell a variety of different things. So you have clothes, you have food, you have whatever you want out in this open space and anyone can just kind of go in and pick out things that they want and enjoy the food or whatever they want. So I believe the members of Blackpink decided to make a vlog, kind of documenting their experience here. Now the vlog since then has also been taken down, I believe. However, there was a clip in which Rosé had passed by a shirt with the Hub's logo on it, and the social media team who runs the Hub's Instagram account went ahead and took that screenshot and posted it on their story. Now, I don't know what the entire intention of this was. Was it to basically say that Rosé or Lisa endorses the Hub? Because what they ended up doing in the story was tagging the Blackpink members. So this is probably their way of being like, oh, look who also enjoys this website. And the Hub also follows various celebrities' accounts, so this was someone that they ended up following. Now, this was interesting because obviously the members don't endorse the website. I don't think they have anything good or bad to say about the website. They just obviously wouldn't endorse it because that doesn't look good for their image. To have anything so overtly sexual attached with their name or something overtly sexual that they're promoting doesn't really look good. Now, of course, the hub's intention was not to embarrass the celebrity, nor do I think they even had even considered that this would be something embarrassing for a K-pop idol to endorse. But this also could be the reason why the video entirely has been taken down or not really available to watch right now. They could have re-uploaded it somewhere else. I haven't really seen it, so I'm not entirely sure if it's 100 percent taken down or not, but I couldn't find the original video. Now, what I don't like about this is that this clip and this moment in which the Hub went ahead and did this has been used to attack both Lisa and Rosé for many, many years. People have been calling this slut shaming both girls over this, basically saying that they are acting overtly sexual. That doesn't make sense, right? Because obviously this has nothing to do with what they did. They were just standing next to a shirt with the logo on it and it was screenshotted. However, that's not what happens online. And then the screenshot showing that it was posted by the Hub's Instagram account are used as examples as to why the girls are being quote-unquote promiscuous. It doesn't have to make sense, nor does it have to actually be a truth that they are actually acting promiscuous, which is why it was reposted. But just the fact that the name alongside their name is even being put together in a same photo, that makes the haters and people who don't look into things believe that the members are actually associated with this website. Because people like to shame Jenny all the time, saying that she dates every man. And honestly, I don't understand why people are making a big deal about that in general because if that's what she wants to do, then more power to her and more power to feminism. However, that's not what's been happening, nor is she doing any of this. But if she wanted to do that, I would say more power to her. And when I say these things, it's like talking to a wall because these people, they just don't understand the fact that having a sexuality and being promiscuous is not really anything to be ashamed of. And actually, it's quite harmful to make it a thing to be ashamed of because we look at these idols as idols. And what is it telling other women when they're looking at an idol being, let's say, promiscuous? and they're getting shamed for it. Makes women think, oh, well, no, I can't do that. I shouldn't be doing that. I need to cover up. If I can do one thing with this channel to change something, it would be to get people to think about a scandal before they make a judgment or say anything about it. Is a girl sleeping around with a lot of people really that bad of a thing? But also given the fact that there actually is no evidence to support that she has done that, but why are we using that as the thing to shame someone? There's a lot of things to attack someone for, and there's a lot of things that you can attack someone for that 
that actually might get a lot more traction and be things that are worth attacking someone for. Like if you think that they are a child toucher or something like that, which they're obviously not, but if you did think that, then that would be something that is like worth shaming because then it shames the people who do stuff like that. They're gonna be more like, oh, I better not do that because I'll get shamed if they care about that. But don't shame someone for being a little bit more promiscuous because that's not really a crime. And I've said this before and I'll say it again, a lot of K-pop idols specifically will do nothing and they will get backlash. It's believed that actually Jungkook has addressed his backlash over doing nothing. So it was rumored that he wrote something on Weavers and whether this was photoshopped or like a meme, we have no idea because I don't know if the original actually exists. But it was believed that he addressed not liking the backlash that he gets for doing nothing wrong. And I believe that Jungkook basically said, I do nothing and I get involved in stupid things. But isn't that the life of an idol? If he actually did say that and this would be his way of trying to tell everyone to stop and to stop doing stupid things and stop involving him in things when he's doing nothing. I mean, think about how exhausting it is to wake up in the morning and having done nothing, having not made a song, having not been active for a couple months, just seeing your name trending all over something that happened years ago that was already disproven or things that just didn't happen that some fan made up that is now picking up steam. Like the whole thing about the blonde girlfriend that was completely fan generated news. That was not something that ever happened, nor is there actual evidence of it ever existing. Someone literally made that up and it's still trending almost every single day over on Twitter. Other things which are a little bit more dangerous are our AI videos. We've seen what AI videos have done with Taylor Swift and we know what AI videos can do. We've seen videos of celebrities all over the internet where it's them doing naughty things and we know that this type of technology exists and we know that it looks very real. The issue with these things is I think there should be some sort of line drawn here or there should be some regulation on this. For example, there were videos going around where it was V and Jungkook doing the nasty together and it was quite obviously AI and fake. However, to put that image out there and to put that type of content out there is not really the best thing to do, especially since idols themselves could see it. Because even if the two were together and dating, do you think they want to see a video of them sleeping together floating around on the internet? It changes their image a little bit and it's just overall not a good thing. I think they would feel personally extremely violated in the worst possible way if they see content like this on the internet. Like I don't even know what their reaction is. This is genuinely something where I'm like, okay, that will bother them. Like I say a lot of stuff, I'm like, okay, well, if people write fanfic or if they do a bunch of random things, I'm like, the celebrity is used to it. They understand this. However, doing AI videos, I think that, that is really, really taking it to a whole other level because I think any single person would be extremely uncomfortable seeing that type of content of themselves online. It's also just imagining how surreal and odd it is to see yourself doing something that you never did. And then also realizing that there's going to be people out there who don't know the difference between AI and real and think that this clip is real and that the idols actually did the things that are in the video. So if you must make these type of videos, obviously keep it to yourself and don't post it. But on the other hand, I would actually opt to not make these type of videos. If what you're attracted to is his body type and whatever it is, then there are plenty of naughty stars that specialize in this type of content that you can view from and view it consensually because these would be people that are professionals and they're paid to do it. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for the comment right here. Love you. Bye.